वेलकम माई सेल्फ गुरनूर कौर एंड टूडे आई एम गोन आ डिस्कस अबाउट दी हारमोन्स हारमोन्स आर टू अर्ज और समथिंग इन मोशन फाइन नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ डायग्राम फर्स्ट द सिस्टम दिस सिस्टम टोटल इज कॉल्ड एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम वट इज इन साइड दिस एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ग्लैंड्स यू आर सींग दिस पार्ट्स दिस थैलमस थायरॉड यू माइट हैव हर्ड अबाउट दीज ऑल आर ग्लैंड्स विच हेल्प टू सिक्रीट दी हारमोन्स फाइन विच हेल्प टू सिक्रीट दी हारमोन्स सो दिस फर्स्ट पार्ट दिस इज द हाइपोथैलमस प्रेजेंट इन द ब्रेन दिस हेल्प्स टू सिक्रीट डिफरेंट हारमोन्स फाइन दिस इज पेट्यूट्री ग्लैंड दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल द मास्टर ग्लैंड यू माइट बी वॉन्ड्रिंग वाई मास्टर ग्लैंड बिकॉज इट सिक्रीट्स द हारमोन्स एंड कंट्रोल ऑल द ग्लैंड्स विच सिक्रीट हारमोन्स ओके it is known as master gland because it manages all glands and secrete hormones and give the negative feedback fine the next is this in your neck you might feel here this is thyroid gland many people suffer from thyroid okay because there is increase in iodine okay this thyroid gland secrete thyroxine okay this thyroid gland secretes thyroxine it maintains the iodine and helps the metabolism of carbohydrates fats and proteins if a person is supposed having a hyperthyroid the thyroxine amount is more then his weight might increase there would be a swelling in the throat and he might also suffer the goiter because the iodine level in the blood increases fine if it is in the less amount the person suffers from the hypothyroidism okay the iodine level is less in that person next is the thalamus this in green is thalamus this helps to produce the t cells in mature person fine it helps to bring the immunity to strong the immunity in person and fight from severe diseases okay this is the leaf like structure you are seeing this this is the leaf like structure this is the pancreas what is this these are the pancreas you might be familiar with the diabetic patients diabetic patients are patients in which the sugar level of the patient is very high this gland is a mixed gland it consists of endocrine system and exocrine glands okay these glands are very small okay the exocrine gland is larger than the endocrine gland the pancreas is larger gland but the endocrine gland is smaller in it okay the insulin is produced in low amount the next is the adrenal gland do you are seeing here the cap like structure here above the kidney is the adrenal gland fine it secretes the adrenaline it secretes adrenaline okay this is the fight of fight hormones in the when you are in dangerous situation suppose a snake attacks you you run or you might throw it away this is helped with this hormone which hormone adrenal hormone this adrenal hormone send message in the blood and your heart beat increases and you are able to respond in a dangerous situation 
okay fine this is the adrenal gland and this pituitary gland is also produce the growth hormones when you are small your size is just like a baby and you grow up with the large height okay this helps with the growth hormones if a person grows to 7 or 8 feet or larger than it it is known as the gigantism the height is not controlled okay if a person is very small according to his age his height does not grow that is known as the dwarfism okay fine a larger person gigantism like a uh, like khali okay and draft person very small person fine the next hormone we are going to study are the sex hormones this is the produced in the ovaries and the testes fine in ovaries it produces the progesterone and estrogens okay o gestrons okay testes produce the gonads okay testes produce testosterone and ovaries produce progesterones and gestrons okay o is silent these are responsible for the sex characters in the human being ovaries are produce sex characters in females and testes produce sex characters in the male example in men the crinkling of the beard and enlargement of the organs help in with the testosterone and in ovaries the menstrual cycle or is maintained with this hormones fine now let's understand it with the help of the table let's understand it with the help of table okay number 1 is pituitary gland as discussed before pituitary gland is also known as master gland it helps in secretion or maintenance of all the glands okay it controls all the glands okay now pituitary gland produce which hormone the growth hormone okay and where it is located it is located below the brain fine the next is thyroid this thyroid helps in regulation of thyroxine it produce thyroxine okay and it maintains the level of iodine where it is present it is present in the thyroxic cavity okay it helps in metabolism of carbohydrates fats and proteins and helps in maintaining the level of iodine okay next thymus thymus produce thymosin okay where it is located it is located back of breast area okay back of breast area it helps in maintaining the immunity okay in controlling or maintaining the immunity the t cells the b cells you might have studied the pancreas pancreas are leaf like structure present where in near the abdomen okay present near the abdomen it secretes insulin and it also secretes the glycogon fine if what is its function it controls the blood sugar level 
it controls the blood sugar level the next is adrenaline the rush hormone or fight hormone or scary hormone okay it produce adrenaline hormone okay it is present above the kidney it is the scary hormone the next is last gonads or sex hormones the estrogen progesterone and testosterone hormones produced are testosterone progesterone and progesterone okay these maintain the sex characters in human beings okay like the evaluation of mammary glands and evaluation of beard fine it is located in the near the pelvic region okay so this is all about the hormones and the last is positive feedback of the hormones back mechanism of hormone let's understand it with the help of example of pancreas okay when the sugar level is high in diabetic patient when the sugar level is higher then the pancreas cells detected and it is detected with the pancreas cells fine then it helps to lower the sugar level and level of insulin also decreases fine when the level of insulin decreases again the pancreas will do its normal function produce normal amount of insulin this is all about the hormone if you like the video hit the like button click upon the bell icon and subscribe my channel sai solik thank you